guys welcome back again to another list video thank you so much for clicking on my video if this is your first time please i would like to have you here so smash subscribe button to be part of this great community without wasting much of your time let's just jump right in today's video so i made a video some time ago where nigeria's most popular famous actor should i say well-respected actor pete edoche shared a lot of things that made Ghanaians created differently he also spilled some facts some histories that even a lot of Ghanaians did not know some of them said that he is indeed a twin brother to joe lawrence so he is currently trending in ghana for spilling more fat so according to him Ghanaians are created differently Ghanaians stand out in the world Ghanaians are there's something unique and special about these people and this made a lot of people react differently because i'm going to share with you guys everything he said and of course how some Ghanaians, some nigerians we are seeing reacting to this particular video indeed Ghana is a gateway to Africa. Indeed, God lives in Ghana. Without wasting much of your time, let me let you guys watch all these videos and then we come back and react some more. Make sure you watch this video to the end. Make sure you comment. Make sure you drop the Ghana flag down the comment section. Watch, guys. Few people know that there was a time if you said from any part of this continent and you went outside the country, and you introduce yourself, they will ask you what part of Ghana is that. Do you know that? But I should know that. If you went outside the country, they will ask you what part of Ghana have you come from. It is to tell you how popular Ghana was. Because then, if you saw a map of Ghana, you will see on that map of Ghana, Kwame Ukruma, or Sajefo. And at that time, Ohene Jan was the director of sports. I thank all of you for this little opportunity to go back to history and to let you know that as Africa, we have contributed to the development of the outside world and our own continent. And I know that in due course, Africa will make more progress with what I am seeing here because no other place qualifies to host this kind of occasion than Ghana. And to conclude, when NASA was the president of Egypt and the Kuma was the president of Ghana. It was a question of black uniting with the white up there in the north and the wife of Kuma was the daughter of Nasser. Ghana is a gateway to Africa. The black stars, we shine everywhere we go. A legend is speaking. Ghana is very grateful to you, sir. Where is Napo? I wish he can hear this. God of Ghana is from Ghana. God of heaven is from Ghana. Wow, I really like this story of Peter. Hard truth. Ghana has lost its glory. Only a good leader can bring it back. Let me let you guys watch another video that is currently trending where a man has actually come out to share with you guys the reason why Ghanaians are indeed fearless. These guys, even though they are calm, but they are the most brave people in the whole of Africa. Watch these videos, guys. You know, you have what's going on? Oh, bro, what's going on? What? Where are you from? Ghana. Where? Look how this guy stand up and reacted on time. See, these Ghanaians, they are on guard. Don't see in a church or church. You people have seen the evidence. These people, they are on guard. They don't get time for in, in, in. See, I know that Nigerians are sharp people, but we tend to overlook the Ghanaian sharpness because we think they are calm people. I'm telling you, somebody like me now, when I'm in Nigeria, they call me Ghanaian. When I'm in Ghana, they call me Omo Niger or they call me Oga. I'm telling you. You will see them sitting down. You see the way this guy just sit down first. Check out the video I'm stitching. See the way the guy just sit down first. No man, no man. When he sees anything, he get heated. He move. Before you know, you, you don't catch the this thing. Stop it. See, Ghana boys. Ghana boys. Before you know, you don't catch hands. I'm telling you. And they don't, you will not see them beat you on your chest. Let me tell you something. My mother used to tell me, and my mother is a Ghanaian. My mother used to tell me that you don't tell somebody that you will slap them. Like, for instance, how we say in Nigeria, I will slap you. No, in Ghana, they don't do it like that. They will first slap you too. The third one is what they will say, I will slap you, so that you know how it will feel if they slap you. Don't fuck with these people. I'm telling you for real. If they want, see, they are calm. They hope you give them a good reason to be violent. That's just it. They really hope you do. And if you do, all the violence that they have been accumulating for the years, <laughs> it will rain on you daddy let me know your thoughts in the comments the truth means that Ghanaians are way too smart these guys are fast you saw what happened so initially he was trying to bring a conversation within, within themselves and before you know it he added as if he was breaking out gone and this guy was fast enough to approach you some people start running 
some cowards with star running. I don't want to mention names. Meanwhile, let me show you guys another video where a particular Nigerian guy shares his experience in Ghana. And according to him, whatever thing he saw wowed him. He has never seen this thing in Ghana before. This is to show you guys that Ghanaians are very neat people. Ghanaians are very peaceful people. He also shared the fact that ever since he came to Ghana from Nigeria, he has never seen a blackout. Or should I say light out? Watch these videos. He get waiting I discover as I enter Ghana. As I discover that the thing is very fascinating. It's interesting to me. And I say, make I show you. Follow me. This is the one compound way last night. I come to buy something. Now somebody directs me come here. When I come to buy with I come to buy. I see one or two things where it dress me. I see one or two things where it suits me. I say, make I show you. Do you know that you go rent house? House where you rent your house, they will bathroom and toilet no go there. Then any time when you won't go use bathroom and toilet, you go pay. <laughs> like I told you before, lights they hardly go for here. Since I come, light never go. You don't need for today. hours. You pay one CD 70 pesos. Then you pay one CD 70 pesos for VIP bathroom. Then you pay one CD 80 pesos to Steve. Please, do you give people so? They will come with your soul. Can't stop. Yes. And the video went on and on. The thing there is that there are some other reactions from people, especially Nigerians living in Ghana. I have this video that got staged by Kofi Kaval. He also shared the reason why he thinks Ghanaians are peaceful. He staged this video because this video went viral and this made people react differently. Some people saw it like, uh, uh, why is it that they have some rooms in Ghana, should I say some houses in Ghana without toilets and bathroom? Even some people also feel like, see, this is a way thing. We all know that Africans are struggling when it comes to development. So this is Ghanaians being intentional about their country. This is people having in mind of, as in the good of good in mind for the citizens of people. If they can have mindset to create such thing so that people can easily survive. And of course, it is not just only Ghanaians that go there. Even some Nigerians that cannot afford the lifestyle in Ghana still goes to that particular place to use the restroom and take their showers meanwhile let me let you guys watch another video then we come back and react some more we are facing compound watch that compound you know we see one liter one dirty for ground i look that video where i don't see one sand for ground and that is the compound of where the poorest people in the society live people say they don't even get toilets for their house or for their compound toilets now outside you go go pay then use them Ghanaians are very neat people. But Ghanaians are very tidy people. See that compound, that compound where we say money know the two enter. They everywhere they, they, don't, they don't put cement for ground, don't tar everywhere. Everybody will come out, clean their house. That place we will see gutter away the repeat for person window. You pass there, you know you hear noise. Especially with Yoruba people, person will feel live with us. Yoruba people, you go stay in house like this, and yeah, 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 up and down. Me say I'm half Yoruba, but if I day where they tell you my neighbor na Yoruba, I no go rent house. I'm telling you, I know that there are some people like that in Ghana too. But I'm telling you that just go through that compound. You see that they even plant small small trees. Sit down. People will put plastic chairs out their house. Sit down. The whole place looking clean and kept. Even the public toilets where they go, they clean and kept, tidy. All these Ghanaians are so neat. They are so neat. If you see Ghanaian conductor self, at least they the child they presentable. I'm telling you. Go see their hawkers. Hawkers will be say they are the least people in the society. You will see that they wear socks more than they wear gloves. And always you see them wearing apron so that they, their money in their pockets. What else do you need from the country? Nigeria will be here. They say one give low safety gun. Last man, last man will be say no man, they get anger issues. Now one can't give them weapon. Nigeria will say something they word they swear for us from the beginning of the con or of the country to be very honest that was that there's that thing that came to my mind the reason why i'm stitching this video or should i say sharing this video here is that i watched this guy's video you know a lot of there was a lot of reaction there were a lot of reactions people were like oh so there are some con uh, compound like that in ghana what i'm seeing is in the intentionality of these people what i'm seeing is how clean how sparkling that environment is what i'm seeing i'm not just seeing what the guy is saying i'm actually seeing the fact that this is a public compound this place is for the poor people people that cannot afford luxury uh, houses but they still kept it clean that is the word they still made it look fine that is another word they still they are still there you guys could see that the woman was even so humble to take that um, impromptu interview from a nigerian See, it's not from a Ghanaian. How can you just randomly come to a woman that cleans that? We all know that that kind of job is not what people genuinely want to do. 
You know, it's a minute job that some people, but they go, they scratch them. And you were interviewing her. She was so jovial. She was giving you all the tips. She was just sharing it with so much joy. This is show you guys that Ghanaians are indeed greater different. There's something about humility when these people are. I don't know how to say it. These guys are so humble. And just like legend P2B said, we are Africans. We need each other in one way or the other. I safe to say that P2B is a Ghanaian. I don't know why this man knows so much about Ghana. The last video I made on my channel blew up and people were like, this guy is actually a Ghanaian. And at this point, I'm not doubting it at all. Because it, he knows too much. He knows too, too much. And if Ghana and Ghanaians are not worth talking about, why? Why are we having our own, our own legendaries, our own um, stars talking about this country? There's something unique about them. And the earlier we start talking about it, the better for every one of us. Okay, I would like to know what you guys think in the comments, both on the first video, the second video that I got staged, and of course, the last video. We all know that Ghanaians are brave people. That's why the fact that they want to be calm, they would want to show themselves when there is no hope, when they, as in when it's time for them to fight for themselves. They jump on it and they defend themselves like heroes. That's on period. Video shout out to Kofi Kaval. I love you so much, brother. I love your content a lot. And that is why I react on most of your content. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments. I'll be ending it here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If this is your first time coming across this face, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate your love and I don't take your love for granted. So I would like to have you here. Smash the subscribe button to be part of this great community. And without wasting much of your time, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Stay happy, be kind, and be blessed. Bye, guys.